So in my last post, we talked about Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now we're going to talk about Laura Loomer and black men. Laura Loomer tweeted this out on yesterday. The black vote is going to come out strong for Donald Trump in 2024. They just arrested Trump and booked him in the blackest jail, the state of Georgia, on phony trumped up charges. Fonnie Willis just made Donald Trump the most relatable man on the ballot for the black community. It's Donald Trump versus the man who called black people super predators. Now I understand why I've got nameless, faceless trolls coming over into my comment section on another platform telling me that black men are going to vote overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. Laura Loomer tweeted that. But they're not just going by Laura Loomer's name and what she tweeted. They're seeing videos like this. Support President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirts for Trump 2024, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She's full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal and that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. <laughs> we should make him be, king. Um, wouldn't that be like kind of like communist? <laughs> no, nah, that's no way nothing near communist. Now, we're just going to make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He fought that. Yeah, Trump for King 2024. That's actually my URL. I own that URL. You own that URL? I can't get your name. Really? Oh, my name is for Trump 2024. I can't remember. Derek Gibson, a former, former candidate. I'm a former candidate for New York State Governor. Derek Gibson, look me up. I'm, I live up to it, too. I can scrap, too, but I can get down. <laughs> That's better. I can't. I got a proven track record. record. You want to try me out? Try to take this shirt off. I'll give you some. Of it. Yes, it is true. He ran for the governor of New York. His name is Derek Gibson. He ran as a Republican. But if you see down below, he was disqualified. Now, I dug and dug and dug and dug, but I could not find why he was disqualified. But they're also watching videos like this. I'm finding these videos over on X, Twitter, because this is what the racists are talking about. They, they are excited that they're seeing these videos coming from black men because seeing these videos coming from black men is telling them that they have a huge possibility of winning because these black men are on their side. And this black man should look very familiar to you. You better believe it. Look what happened to Martha Stewart. She caught that felony. She goes to all the cookouts with Snoop Dogg. She is endorsed. She cripping. Bruh, Trump is a brother now. I'm sorry. You go to you go to goddamn you go to jail in Zone Six Atlanta. You a brother? Straight up. They fucked up. The jail. They believe in that shit. This is this is good. We believe in that shit. We trust that. I'm sorry. You can say what you want, but they fuck with people that went to jail. They fucks with people that been in the penitentiary. It fucks with people like that. It is what it is. We'll see.
Y'all know who that is. That is one of the professed leaders of the passport bros. You know, the ones who don't like black women in America or they can't find love in America. So they get their passports and they go overseas to find them girls, friends and wives. Yeah, he's gotten into it with many of black women on TikTok because black women would set him straight for the disrespect he would show towards black American women. And so now he's stomping for Donald Trump. Can I just say, if these are the type of black men that white racists are excited about, am I wrong for saying y'all can have these types of black men? Y'all can have them. These types of black men do not represent the majority of black men. You can have them. You're welcome. 